Today we're going to be scrubbing the floor with a dry strip system with a white driver's pad and a maroon stripping pad. So, let's get at it. This is a dry strip system, for sure. But I like to use a spray bottle, a mop, or something with some water. I'm gonna be using a spray bottle today. Just put some water down, I don't want it too, too much. Uh, I chose to do this room by myself. I've got plenty of time to do this. So, I want to kind of explain to you what the pads are about. Your white driver pad goes on your square scrub machine. And the reason that is, that is to protect the plate that's on that machine, the little teeth that hold it uh, on there. It's kind of like uh, Velcro, but it's very strong. But there again, it's so soft that it can't be damaged. And uh, right here is the pad that does the magic. We're gonna take about three coats of wax off. We're gonna put three coats back on. We're gonna leave our base coats on the floor. So, so what I'm gonna do this is the pad holder right here, and all that is is just white lint off of these pads. And this is your driver pad. This is what protects the machine. And then we're just gonna square up with this pad right here. Okay, and we're ready to start. Now, this is the good thing about having a square scrub machine. You know, if I was using regular stripper, this is a uh, computer dock thing for an instructor, and it's all tied in, all them computer wires. You see, I got them off the floor. And this bookshelf here is loaded. That's where it's gonna stay. It's not gonna be moved. You're gonna be able to see that I can get this machine around this without having to move it. I also have a desk over here. I'm just gonna slide it out of the way, and I'm gonna put it back, because that's where it's gonna stay, and I'm gonna wax around it. So that's a really good thing about having the square machines that you can work around furniture like this without having to worry about stripper running under your furniture. Now, as you can see, the handles let down on the machine. Wheels are on the ground just like a buffer. I have not done anything to this room. I haven't sprayed any kind of water or anything. I'm just gonna run a path here and I'm gonna show you how it cuts this wax off. Just the easy walk. All right, that is what the pad does. See that powder? And that's what it's doing. It's taking your top coats of your wax off where you can resurface your floor. The reason I like to use the water is, is I do have computer stuff in here and I don't want to breathe all this dust. And I just put just enough down to uh, keep that dust down. So what I like to do, and there's no right way, no wrong way about this, but I'm gonna do my edge all the way around up to my door, okay? And I like to work toward the door I'm gonna work in a pattern this way, or I may work in a pattern this way. It doesn't matter, it's whatever you prefer, but I'm gonna to work toward the door and work my way out. It should take me uh, probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Just enough water just to keep the dust down, nothing heavy. And it might take me a little longer due to video, and, but you'll get an idea how long it takes. Here we go. Get right up in them corners. Just kind of got to get your spot started here. Get right up against the wall. Turn and just continue to go right down my edge. And as you can see, I can 
off over the machine. It's not too terribly loud. I can get right up against the baseboard, which is just like awesome. No due to bugging, no razor blade. Let the machine do the work. See the difference there? Yeah, it's cutting wax. Okay, I've made it all the way around the room one time around the edges and that took me less than 10 minutes glare on that clock took me less than 10 minutes point out you want to make sure that you are overlapping every time with your machine when you come back uh, and forth because if you leave I mean just a place that you miss it's going to show up because we've had to go back and make a run back up you know where you didn't overlap enough and everything so you just got to be conscious of that let's get back at it So you can see, it took about an hour and 30 minutes, 35 minutes. A lot of wax on this floor. But the great thing about this, I can leave this white powder on the floor and go take my hour lunch and I can come back and get it off. Hey, can you do that with stripper? You leave stripper on the floor for an hour after you scrubbed it, see what happens. <laughs> I could leave this all day long and tomorrow and come back and get it up with an auto scrubber. Awesome stuff. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. We'll be back. I don't think it's crazy he didn't know what he's talking about. Don't listen to him. He's an idiot. You got to wet strip everything. He says that's stupid. dry stripping the square machine wax looks like it's just a powder take it off put it on now i'm going to take an auto scrubber and go over this floor and clean it up some more then take a, a mop and go around the edges because you still got to do your edges and uh see what we got No neutralizer. I have rinsed it with a mop. I have rinsed it with a, my edges with a mop. I have rinsed the floor itself with an auto scrubber. I'm ready for wax right now. No neutralizing, no waiting, floor is dry. I'm putting wax on. Now, here are the results. Boom. Come on down here and see what you think. Come on. I'm coming up. Go, go. This phone looks good. Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm convinced. Your way works, but I ain't, I ain't gonna learn it. I'm still gonna do it my way, but this does look good, dog, don't it? 